comes up. It comes up a lot. It's really bizarre. I don't experience sexual attraction. Oh, so you sleep with animals? I don't experience sexual attraction. I may or may not have anything to do with whether or not I sleep with animals. Just saying. I don't sleep with animals. An asexual is someone who does not experience sexual attraction. Asexuality is an orientation. It's not a choice. It's not something we choose. Some people choose not to have sex. And that's fine. That's called celibacy. It's different. So we got the straight people who are sexually attracted to members of the opposite sex. We've got the gay folks who are sexually attracted to members of the same sex. And then we've got the A people who are not experience, experiencing sexual attraction to anybody. And that's us. That's me. Hello. It's nice to meet you. You've never been sexually attracted to anyone? No, I've never experienced attraction. And actually, I realized I was asexual because when I was young, all of my friends started being attracted to people and I had no idea what they were talking about. And she's like, oh, well, do you never have that feeling that when you're, you know, you're kissing and then you do something more and then you do something more and then you really have to fight against the urge to sleep with them? And I find that really hard. And I'm like, no, I, I don't get that. The whole sexuality thing didn't really have an impact on my life until about high school. My close circle of friends all started being interested in boys and girls, and um, I wasn't at all interested. And the conversations always go around the table and come around to like, well, who do you think is hot? Who are you crushing on? Kind of thing. And you just make something up to fit in. And it's the most horrible feeling ever because it's not true. And you're lying to your best friends and you're lying to yourself. And then you go home and you keep yourself awake with these thoughts of like, geez, I'm not like anyone else, and why don't I feel these things? What's wrong with me? And there's nothing wrong. <laughs> That's the biggest thing, is that there's nothing wrong. It's just different, and it's relatively unknown. So when you don't know about things, they don't exist. Sex is a fabulous, enormously pleasurable aspect of life. And you're saying you don't miss it. It's like someone, in a sense, who's colorblind saying, I don't miss color. Of course you don't miss what you've never had. What I mind is when the idea gets enforced that people need sex, that without sex, you're somehow broken. And, of course, we can be happy without sex. It is a difficult thing to understand. If you try and be very open about it, as if, you know, you're explaining it to somebody, you're saying, well, you know, I have a romantic drive and not a sex drive, and they look at you and go, Really, I, I don't believe in that. Well, you can just go, well, it's true for me. I'm the one experiencing it. And then if they argue with you, then you can just say, look, it's a subjective thing. It's in my head. You can't get in there. You don't know. And, you know, if they're going to carry on after that, then they're not really worth it because they're never going to understand if they can't understand that. Can labeling oneself asexual become a self-fulfilling prophecy? You might as well label yourself not curious, unadventurous, narrow-minded, blind to possibilities. I, I don't think I'm putting into words how, how much this meant to me, how much this changed a lot of things in my life. Uh, asexuality meant that I could be myself in my future and I wasn't conforming to into some role that I didn't want to play and some person I didn't want to be. For the most part, my experience has been really awesome coming out. There have been a few instances where people are like, does that mean you're like an amoeba or or they think it's a choice? Like, why would you decide to do that with your life? And it's just like, why did you decide to be straight when you woke up? Like, you know, it's crazy.